Good morning, survivalists. It is day 16 of uh, my version 1.0 playthrough. Uh, as has been pointed out in previous episodes, there have been a few um, a few glitches and bugs that we've found so far with the latest B328 uh, patch, apparently. Um, I had a bugged treasure, uh, a treasure quest, treasure hunt quest that uh, failed it as soon as I activated it. I've had one crash to desktop. And it's not, I suppose this is not so much of a, a bug as just something that uh, needs sorting out. Is that the um, trying to loot loot bags when they've fallen into spike traps is a pain in the arse. It is a pain in the arse, but you know, it's manageable. So, anyway, what are we going to do today on day 16? I think we are going to do a mix of. Um, Base building and questing, as always. I've got some repair to do with my iron spikes. I want to get spikes all the way around. Uh, you know, fully fitted iron spikes. And I do want to finish my base surround on the ground floor. So, I think that's what we're going to do first. I've got plenty of wood. I've got some cobblestone. I've got plenty of stone. That's the point. I can start crafting some more cobblestone blocks. So... Okay, let's just see how we get on. The realisation has just hit me that I've not got much cloth. So we're going to gather some cotton before I do anything else because I need to make some duct tape. Uh, just a brief little interlude to say that I have just... Uh, not a watch. I can't make a watch. Hatch. Ah, Jesus can't spell. Uh, Jesus can't spell. I'm sure he probably could. Um... Yes. Just a little cap on my potassium nitrate mine. I've gathered a bit. I'm not going to do much now. Uh, just, obviously, I will need it for getting ammo. Gunpowder is what I need. Which is going to also mean locating a source of coal nearby. Oh, there's one there. That's fine. I probably will find... Oh, there's, a... ah, there's one there. Even closer. Excellent. Let's go and get that marked up. And again, I've just established <clears throat> a nice little coal mine right near my base. So we've got access to iron, lead, coal and uh, potassium nitrate all very close to HQ now. So I'm going to whip up some gunpowder. Holy shit. Oh, that, that is quite a boost. Probably only need one dew collector. I had three on my last game save. So obviously the tarp that I fitted seems to double the amount of, of uh, jars. Nice. That's a nice little touch. It's probably a bit OP, <laughs> but there we go. I don't mind that. Right, again, there's only so much crafting I can take in one go. So... I keep calling it crafting. I mean base building. It's what I mean. Uh, what I'm going to do... is I'm just going to pop off and do a little a little quest. I need to gather some eggs anyway, because I'm getting a bit low on bacon and eggs. So, that seems like a good plan to me. And then, I'm just going to do one, one mission. <coughs> um... Probably for Jen, since I forgot to pick one up. Leave this stuff building here. Um, and go and kill something. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and kill something for a bit. And then we'll do some more base building later on. Came the long way around on the way to Jen's. Thought I'd stop off for a little bit of zombie killing. Ah, oh, the curse of the airdrop strikes again. Where is it? Ah, oh, that's okay. That's it. That's in a very attainable place. As long as there's not one of those damn die walls there again. Right, we'll go and get that after I've got a quest off Jen. Ah, oh, there's no, um, there's no restore power quests. I was quite tempted to do one. Now I've got the, now I've got the nine mil. Mind you, I've got no bloody torch yet either, have I? So. In that case, we will do a 
fetch clear to the northeast because that's near the airdrop. I'd be tempted to do that one at the west, but it means going back past the base. So we'll do that one, which is probably in the village right near the airdrop. You need some work? I need some commission. But your dear residents could do with visiting Bob and Wrecked just to see if they've got a helmet light. I really don't want to spawn one on God mode. Um, if, I, I kind of wish I'd have done that right at the start, much like I'm going to name drop again, much like Glock 9 does. But I haven't done it, so... Never mind. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and check, and then I'll head straight to the mission site. I'm going to nip and see Bob whilst I'm here. His name is Bob. Oh, Bob, you've let me down. No helmet light. Yes, and I need the schematic to actually make it. Never mind. Here we are. At... Uh, where are we? The Patiotti residence, that's correct. Just spin the old bike rooney around. Oh, that's cleared some inventory space. Okay, it's not ideal, but it'll do. Um, I'm just going to crack on with it because it's 4pm. And I want to go and pick that airdrop up as well. So, fetch clear. Ah, no respawn mailbox. That's very disappointing. Oh well, in we go. In we go. What have we got? Anyone in the garage? I don't need fuel yet. Oh, bloody soldier. Here's someone else, but I can't see them. There he is. I'm still go melee as much as possible. Try and save the old uh, 9mm ammo as much as I can for day 14. Uh, da sorry, day 21. Day 21, we're getting there now. Uh, what does this do? Opens the garage door. Should have figured that, really. Uh, no, crap. Oh, where did you come from? Actually, in the back of the cupboard. Yes, apologies to anyone that likes to really see what they're doing. I know it's a pain in the arse, me not having a... Helmet light mod. Sorry, I thought I could hear something then. I could hear something. I could hear this dude here. He's still not dead. And you, burn victim. Squish. I will get a helmet light mod very soon, I promise. I promise, promise, promise. I mean, I know I'm in need of cloth, so just bear with me. I'm not going to do all the curtains. I've not got time and it's too dark. I may turn the brightness up a little bit in post just so you guys can see what you're doing. So I can't see fuck all at the moment. Oh, these are nasties. Ah, wall blocked him. Don't forget the supplies, Dave. Don't forget the supplies. There you go. Public announcement for everyone. My real name is Dave. Uh, not too worried about you, nor you. That's okay. Liquor, mouldy shit. Twenty past five. Right, supplies are oh, that way somewhere. Hopefully upstairs. I don't know why I'm checking every single goddamn thing. Let's just get it cleared. Check the office. Any safe in here? No safe. Oh, armoured up though. We'll take that. Filing cabinet. Skill box. Armoured up. Handgun magazine. Oh, now, wait a minute. I can make a level two handgun at the moment, can't I? I think I might leave it until it goes up to three. Just to save on, on parts. This is quite a big house. It is tier two, so that's kind of to be expected. Where are you all? Right, supplies. Supplies are recovered. Scavenger gloves. Interesting. Once again, I'm encumbered. Anything in the bog? Some water. Bonus water is always good. How do we get through there? We must drop into it from above. 
Bit in there. Okay. Roof. The roof. The roof. Yeah, straight in here. Oh, I wonder if there's anything hiding in the cupboard. Oh, there actually wasn't. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, fooled me that time. They were hiding in the bathroom wall. Oh, shit. He wasn't dead. Ha! <laughs> oh. I mean, the nice thing about not having a, a helmet light mod is it does take you by surprise sometimes. Clear areas. Uh, where are we going? Must be through there next, into that uh, hidden bathroom. En suite. I'm finding a lot more water in toilets now, which is nice. Got the supplies. I just need to clear the rest of the area. I'm already encumbered, so I'm not going to bother harvesting the, the TV as yet. Oh, uh, that's where we're going next then. Up into the loft area. Where are they? They're bound to be here. I'm just going to pull them. Ah! Ugh. Sneaky bastard vulture. A burning dog. Damn it, I hate those things. Oh. Okay, we, we survived. We're all right. All clear. Quest complete. There's got to be a shut-off for that somewhere. I don't recall this house at all. I'll have garbage. Food. Hobo stew. There we go. Oh, what, how very disappointing. I'll keep the steel ones for later on at some point. I do like to have a nice bow. Lumberjack boots. Now majorly encumbered. I might have to leave picking up the airdrop. For another day. Chili goldenrod. Cornmeal. Oh my god. Right, there's got to be a way to shut this. Unless I can just skank round it. No, I can just go round it. I think it was probably just there to set the dog on fire. What have we got in the working stiff box? I can't believe I paid for an anvil and I've just bloody looted one. Never mind. Kind of, I, I had a feeling when I bought that anvil, I thought, Do you know what, I bet I get one very soon. And never mind. I think I've said never mind multiple times. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll just nip back. That's what we'll do. We'll just nip back and drop off. Where the hell is the front door? Right. <laughs> oh. Fuck's sake. He's not dead. He's not dead. Now he's dead. Oh, I'm right next to it, but I've not got much space. I'm not bothered about being encumbered as long as I can make it back. All right, let's risk it. We're going to go get it. Can't be doing with that tree. Diamond tip tools, very nice. Steel tools, quality one. It's going to be a little while before I can get forged steel, so I'm not too worried about that. But it was worth coming. I think I might go round the other way, just uh, for a change of scenery, and just to get this bit of the map done. Oh, I remember that place, the depot. Yeah. Fun times. Fun times ahead. There's a, there's a little campsite here. Woohoo, morning woods. Okay, run away. Not doing that yet. Okay, we've returned home. Um, got some admin and sorting out to do. One thing I did want to check was I have got... Oh, got quite a few. Harvest coal. That's done. 1,000 XP, nitrate, that's done. Enter desert. 2,000. Survived for seven real hours. Oh, I would have done that a long time ago if I hadn't got killed by those cursed airdrops. Kill five. Ooh, 10,000 XP and ammo. 
What ammo? Where's the ammo? Grilled meat. Don't really need that. Right, admin time. Oh, shit. That is the only problem with my defences. Sometimes I forget if I'm carrying a lot of stuff, I can't jump over because it reduces your jump distance. What a dum dum. Never mind. All we need to do is build a temporary bridge. Uh, <laughs> One day I'll learn to play. That day is not yet. Yeah, I think I've got to say the Dew Collector is massively overpowered now. Three a day of pure water from each Dew Collector was good because I, I just had three of them. That is a that is a bit OP, really. But it'll probably change. They'll probably nerf it at some point. I kind of hope they do. I want it a little harder than that. So I'm just going to whip myself up a level 5 pickaxe. I'm not going to use the legendary parts on an iron pickaxe. So I'm just going to leave it at level 5, but it will help a lot with, with harvesting. So let's get that going. Obviously I could remove my blocks now. I can jump the gap again. I just, I do, I'm not used to being encumbered, you see. So I sometimes forget that it severely reduces my jumping distance. And then I uh, inevitably fall into my own death trap. Because that's just how good I am. So I think in the interest of um, getting my first floor eventually expanded. What I'm going to do now is dig out and... Sort out my, my ground floor, because then I can do my first floor as well. And get it out of size and start getting some proper storage. I'm a bit gutted. Oh, you can ah, you can still pick up the workbench. Oh, you can still pick up the... I didn't think that option came up earlier. I'll obviously have to empty it out, but at least I can move it without having to destroy it. Come with the fire as well. I'm sure that option didn't come up when I tried it earlier. Maybe they've patched it. Maybe there's something wrong and that was fixed in the patch. Admittedly, I have not checked the patch notes. Because I just like to discover things as I'm going. <laughs> right. So, we're going to do some digging. Yay. So, a little explanation here. I'm digging out another another row around the um, the floor I've already established. Just because... I like a nice flat level area for the uh, the zombies to appear on when they're coming at me on Horde Night. This will all be filled out with blocks and reinforced up to cobblestone, obviously eventually up to steel. There we go, laying the blocks there. Um, again, I'm going to highlight it. For anyone that doesn't know, I find it better to lay building blocks and then go through the whole upgrade process because I'm, I'm pretty sure you get more XP that way. And I think it's actually quicker than crafting the blocks individually. I'm not 100% sure if you're going straight from zero to a steel block. I will test that out at some point in the future and let you know one way or the other. But this row now will form the foundation for my final row of columns, which will support my first floor up to its maximum size. Right then, folks, that is about it for that episode. Just a pretty casual one, a bit of questing. Um... An airdrop received and a little bit of base construction. So, I will resume that on the morrow. Um, try and get my ground floor bit finished and then I can work on my first floor. And then I can sort out this storage container and, and get my crafting area out to where it should be. And then, once the, once the first floor floor is complete, you'll actually be able to understand how and why I do my base the way I do it. Um, hopefully. Hopefully that should only be in another day or two, and it will all start to make sense. Rather than just looking like some random shit in the middle of the landscape. So. That does just fill up two at a time. That is massively overpowered. Never mind. Whatever. I will leave it at that. If you like what you've seen, please feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on bell notifications, drop me a comment, share the video, spread the word, and um, I'm hoping to do a couple of guides soon, even though I'm completely incompetent. So there will be guides to incompetence, and I hope you'll check them out and enjoy them. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.
Goodbye.